Recently, I uploaded a video called Why I Enjoy Subaru More Than Rudy. Mushoku Tensei Degens vs. ReZero Cringe Lord. And oh man, this video did numbers. Not in terms of the views, but in terms of the comments. Oh my god. How many comments? 269 comments, bro. People are mad. And we are here today to farm the idiots in the comment section, right? I realized that, you know what? I should compare Mushoku Tensei and ReZero more. The more that I stoke the flames of controversy, the more engagement there is, the more I farm. At the end of the day, this is all just entertainment. All right, first monkey to get crucified. It's not this guy, but Mr. Tyre Willis 9841 says, I find Rudy more relatable. <laughs> Bet glad you could self-report. Now drop your address as well so we can call the cops. Low-key true, bro. I mean, you literally low-key just self-reporting that you like Rudy and you justify all his behavior. Like, that's kind of sus, right? And then we have, I'm not crazy. Quotation, I found Subaru more relatable. Quotation, so you hate yourself that much? And then I saw this and I said, I'll be back in roughly 18 hours to farm this thread. Now, it is about 20 hours at this point. I'm two hours late, but hey, I'm still here. And my God, first of all, profile picture check. Ah, of course. Yeah, what did I expect, right? Of, of course! What of, what did I expect? So we got a, we got a Mushoku Tensei Glazer. And hey, I love Mushoku Tensei. I genuinely love Mushoku Tensei. And this guy says, I find Subaru more relatable. So you hate yourself that much. So your argument here, you are justifying the pedophilic behaviors of Rudeus Grey Rat by saying that we hate ourselves? That like Subaru constantly going through these trials and struggles and, you know, being overcome by the sins and not being able to, you know, face forward and oftentimes even self-hating himself. You think that is worse than Rudy diddling? Like, like, you actually think this makes sense. And on top of that, canonically, maybe I'm wrong about that because I'm only on episode 15 of ReZero right now. But is it true that Subaru hates himself more than Rudy does? Is it, is it, you no, know, like, lore-wise? Because, like, I don't know Subaru's background story. And maybe he does hate himself later on more. And maybe he is correct. But I'm like, I thought that Rudy hates more. I, I don't know. Maybe I'd have to watch the anime more to find out. Tyre Willis says, I find it hilarious that my first angry reply guy is a guy with a Rudy profile. I mean, come on now, right? Like, come on. This, this is your profile picture, right? Two cat girls that he also groped. We hate ourselves for our flaws, similarly to Subaru. While Rudius points out the flaws of other people and still follows the same flawed path, wonderfully put. Rudius fans don't even do this much, defending Rudius' atrocious actions, making them worse than both Subaru's and Rudius. Absolutely, at the end of the day, the relatability factor of Rudy versus Subaru is simply because I don't like a diddler, but I can see myself in a person who is overcome by their own ego and their own, you know, pride. And you know, facing problems like that. I could totally see myself, and that's why I love, you know, uh, Rudy, uh, what's it called, Super Over Rudy. Yeah, agreed. Being a fan of Mushoku Tensei is fine, but the way some of his fans defend every action that Rudy does just because the character development is wild to me. Exactly. Like, Rudy is a piece of shit, but that's the point. The story is for his growth, to get a second chance and to reconnect past trauma and problem situations from the new events of the Isekai world, relating it back to his past memories and overcoming them. Is that not the literal point of, you know, Mushoku Tensei? This is fucking crazy, right? And then, <laughs> all caps, you, you fucking retired Muto haters always bring up this without understanding that it never fucking happened in anime. This stupid scene only happens in non-canon weapon. I, 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 I don't really know what they're talking about here. They're probably talking about more of the comments here. I'm just skimming over it to just kind of like avoid spoilers. But hey, I don't know. Maybe it is not canon. Maybe he's right here. You fucking retard need to do your research instead of regurgitating what other empty haters say. This anime is based on a light novel, not web novel. He's probably right about that, but yo. We're just trying to have a conversation. You are so fucking mad, brother. And <laughs> is there? Oh my, there's more replies? No, that's pretty much it. It's just, again, the average Mushoku Tensei Glazer 
just so volatile just so fucking like ingenuine i'm trying to have a fucking conversation i state that mushoku tensei is peak fiction but i despise the character of rudius and i think it makes sense though that is the whole purpose of the story how are you gonna come here and get mad and triggered when i'm literally saying your show is good and the whole point of the show is rudy's growth even though he's a piece of shit i just don't understand these psychos next comment the original one says, this is most unbiased opinion about the series I've ever seen. Yes, Rudy is disgusting. And that's the point. The series about growth. I agree, right? Many people don't understand this and actively justify the degeneracy portrayed by Rudy because they themselves are Rudy before the growth. Ironic that the biggest Mushoku Glazers don't even understand what the story is trying to tell them. I genuinely feel this way. I'm not saying every Mushoku Tensei enjoyer, but I think that with the show like this, with the character like IRL Rudy is, it's gonna definitely attract those degenerate society that sees themselves in Rudy. But the whole point of the story is to be self-aware, to recognize yourself and become better, or at least try to be better, right? But I think a lot of people get emboldened by the success of Mushoku Tensei, and they feel like this is a safe space now to like proudly self-report their pedophile tendencies that i'm like are you even reading your shit and here's the next comment which i am just appalled by it's disgusted for what says goddess roxy 0000 he never grew beyond 15 mental years if you don't know what a mental year is let me explain to you right you guys don't have the brain rust so let me explain to you what this means the common talking point, a win condition, a logical fallacy when it comes to these debates is that sometimes, even if a guy, the diddler is 40 years old, he never grew past the maturity, the mental maturity of a 15 year old. Therefore, even though it's a 40 year old, because of the mental maturity of a 15 year old, it is now okay to be diddling. That is the logic here, and it is one of the most craziest insane mental gymnastics i have ever fucking heard of like they actually think that this is a win condition they like if anything this makes us realize how more insane you degenerates are put the problems he had plus the new you body you understand everything no the reason everyone was so creeped out with the way that he handled eris it's exactly that, right? Rudy is in a young body. And that's one of the creepiest, weirdest shit about Isekai. And this isn't specific to, you know, Mushoku Tensei. Think about um, appraisal skill, right? Using my appraisal skill, I will rise up. That Isekai, it's the same shit, right? He used to be like a salary man, grown up, 30 year old dude, reincarnated. Now he's a baby. He grows up and his newlywed is like fucking 12 years old. But. Mushoku Tensei is going to get more focused on that because of how popular it is, because of how volatile it is. And of course, because Rudy is way more perverted than ours is in that appraisal show. It's always been such a weird thing. I've acknowledged it. People like ED Anime straight up drop Mushoku Tensei because of it. And I respect him for taking that stance. Unfortunately, I'm here to just, you know, farm views and get the money. So I'm a morally great person. So it's not really up to me to like preach and like say cancel this person cancel that person nah but for sure it is an uncomfortable truth that in anime anime culture shodas lollies there's a lot of attraction towards those niches from anime consumers and we get the products marketed towards them and i have to just sit there and somehow watch gushing over magical girls and it's it's weird for sure but there's more to it just than that but it's just an uncomfortable truth right do you really think that excuse will work out in court? Let's open up this guy's profile picture. And would you expect anything more from a picture like this? Of course he thinks it's going to work out in court. Of course he does. <laughs> Lamau, in the first place, before Rudy got the guy, he was thrown out of his family because he is so disgusting behavior on the minor who is his niece and also installed camera in the bathroom to watch his niece. I did not know that. Okay, this is... What the fuck? Wait, wait, what? 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 I did not know this! Maybe I just got spoiled, but what the fuck? I should have paid more attention in season one, man. That is insane. That's absolute fucking insanity, bro. Let's see what this guy say. 
today on the internet and in everyday life, everything is an excuse. No, it's just a way of telling the fact without acting like a child and immediately pointing fingers. So this guy's debate strategy, right? After we clearly give them examples out of their own work to prove the pedophile fucking tendencies, what do they do? They simply say, shitty things happen in the world and therefore it's fine. In the world we live in, there are human beings who are nightmares who could just kill you just because you say hello to them. Therefore it's fine. What kind of logic is this? This is the other mental gymnastics, the other talking point. If the first talking point is the mental maturity, the mental age, so that you're actually just diddling. The other talking point is there's so much atrocities in the world, murders happen rape, right? Pillaging, plundering, all of these shitty things happen and that's just a fact of life. Therefore, it's fine. What a dumbass fucking opinion. Genuinely so brain rotten that you don't even realize what you're saying. Of course, those are atrocities in the real world. And that's why we work to prevent that shit from happening. You are literally saying bad shit happens. So it's fine. And your children for, you know, using this as an excuse. It's like, what? You're not even actually coming in here with a genuine conversation. You're simply pointing fingers and you're using half platitudes to dismiss other people's actual examples. And based on the fucking likes that you're getting, you're getting fucking cooked. Let's see more replies. Why would I need to do that when you said it was a textbook definition excuse, right? He is just making excuses straight up, right? So for these minorities can be classified as terrible things from which one to redeem oneself. He never grew up mentally. This is bullshit. What do you expect? We, okay, here's the thing. He never grew up mentally. So what did you expect from a 20 year old man physically, but with the mind of a 14 year old? You guys need to understand how a human being works first. No idiot. You need to stop making defenses for creepy pervs that has no self accountability. Why are you going how to fucking, you know why? Because this person is that person. This person is mentally matured at 15 years old, even though he's 40 and he's diddling kids. And this is how he justifies the cognitive dissonance in his own fucking life. It's not because I'm saying he's a man, but with the mind of a 14 year old, so he can do everything. There are things that anyone can do, no matter how you're mentally. You're fucking stupid. And I tell you, study human beings thoroughly because they're not as simple as you think. You're what does that even mean? You're acting like a pseudo intellect, dismissing other people's criticism by simply hiding behind the mental maturity and how the reality of the world is cruel. Therefore, it's just fine. Like, look at this. <laughs> the mentality of a human is interesting. I recommend you study it. No, motherfucker. You are talking about the mentalities of pedophiles. You deserve to be fucking locked up, bro. Oh my God. The comment still go. The comment still goes, bro. <laughs> this is the best part. All human beings have flaws. Yeah. You know what Subaru's flaws are? Pride, ego, wrath. You know what Rudy's flaws are? Installing security cameras on a 15 year old kid when he's 40 and diddling them. What are you even talking about? But as always, you're not arguing when I'm explaining everything to you. No, you're the one hiding behind this bullshit argument of how people have flaws. Therefore, it's okay. It is not okay. You have nothing to say. Just keep writing because I don't want to destroy you anymore. Your entire argument is defaulting onto the two talking points of mental maturities and the human mentality is strange because they're pedophiles. And you think you're cooking them? You're not destroying anyone. You're getting cooked in every single comment. You're getting multi-ratioed. You are a little pedophile getting cooked in a thread because your worldview is so twisted that you don't even realize what you're saying. Most of my comments are deleted by YouTube auto spam and you're lucky for this too. It's an excuse, please. Motherfucker, your comments are getting deleted because even the YouTube automated system sees the keywords you're writing in the comments because you're an actual pedo and they're like, nah, we want nothing to do with you. What an absolute fucking disgusting pedo and what an actually fucking neckbeard. <laughs> I'm only wasting time. I'm winning my arguments. <laughs> Just so gross. So pathetic. Just this guy straight up deserves to be locked up. This dude straight up deserves to be locked up. This guy is just stupid, right? He, he, this guy is just stupid and cringe. This guy deserves to be locked up. And finally, the last comment that I will end this video on. Where is it? Mr. Shuja2304. You're lame. Just cause you can't relate to something, it's worse. No, I did not say that. 
I thought that Mushoku Tensei is peak fiction. I say that ReZero is also peak fiction. And I say that I prefer Subaru over Rudy for the reasons I explained in the video. If you cannot follow that logic, you're retarded, but it looks like you are. MT tackles tougher social issues. Yeah, like how to get over how being a pedophile. ReZero is a kid's show. No, it's not. How is ReZero a kid's show? You think that a guy being mind broken as a fucking girl that he like that loves him gets twisted, like fucking playing twister, struggles to get to him, sacrifices her life to fucking save him, then he shows up walking through pack mountains of corpses, just like the entire village massacred, and then shows up and he gets his head cut off? You think that's a fucking kid show? You're already commenting with such ingenuity, just, just like a, it's such a dishonest way. Like when people comment, I'm down to have an actual conversation. I am coming in with such a genuine and an honest alleyway to have a conversation, but you're not even doing this. You're just spewing garbage because you're fucking stupid. Always has been. MT is confrontational. Yeah, confrontational towards the creepy behavior that Rudy does. Absolutely it is. Subaru is an insurful moron. Rudy is also an insurful moron. Just like you. Relatable? And you're relatable to a pedo. And you know what? You know what the best thing is? You know why comments like these don't make me mad? Because when you contextualize this comment from a reasonable grown adult and you read from the perspective or you read from the perspective of your fan, it hurts you internally because you think that they, you know, they loved you. But to me, every one of you is a monkey. I reduce your humanity into a monkey. Because if I click on your channel and I scroll down, this is what you look like. You are a literal child. You shouldn't even be allowed to comment on my channel. You're a dumbass kid that have no idea what you're talking about. You don't even understand my takes and you're screeching. And unfortunately, because your parents made a mistake and you were born into this world without any guidance, now I am getting the, what's the word? I'm getting straight bullets from the lack of parenting from your family. And now I have to fucking babysit your ass in my own YouTube channel. You are an actual child. You don't deserve to comment on my videos. And usually what I'll do is just ban them. But it's fun to just let them get cooked. Just let them just get crucified. And remember, remember, before you get mad when you engage with comments online, just realize that everyone is just an anonymous retard. They're just monkeys. And once you realize this, nothing can hurt you. These comments mean fucking nothing because I know who I am and a reasonable functioning member of society when they hear my takes they watch my videos they are reasonable enough to even if they don't agree with me agree with the logic it took to get to my statements and that's it man this is the part one I think this is part one of farming the videos because again we have 269 comments to farm so there's a good chance that we'll be back here farming more videos and I'll see y'all in the next time